Hey guys, it's Bayflo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing this three-part video as far as my PA experience uh, with the interview process and application process. This video will probably be my last video on the PA application process unless you guys have any certain requests. I just wanted to do a quick little three-part thing to kind of help you guys out and if you missed those videos, those are before and I actually recorded all this on the same day but I wanted to release it in different parts like I said and um, I didn't want it to be too overwhelming so without further ado this is, will be my last part of this video um, series and I'll be talking about my interview questions this time. And the initial interview, I was interviewed by, like I said, the medical doctor that was at Advent Health. And some of the questions I was asked, um, which is very common and I'm pretty sure every school asks this, is why PA? What made you want to become a PA? And do not say I want to help people. And that's the most cliche answer. So why PA? When I, when I answered this question, I talk about how I, how I was introduced into the PA profession and that was through my injuries and stuff and I kind of used that um, as, as why PA because it really, when I was introduced into the PA profession, it, I wanted to learn more about the PA profession and um, I talked about the people I was introduced to through scribing and the amazing impact they've had on people's lives and um, that furthered my desire of becoming a PA. Um, so whatever you do, don't say you want to help people because I think the natural answer for mo almost anybody who wants to become a PA is they want to help people. You're not going to this profession to help yourself. You want to help people and that's kind of obvious. So the next question was why PA versus MD? And I started off with the fact that I wanted to have the ability to switch professions if I wanted to. Not professions, but specialties. So, for example, if I started out in, you know, dermatology and I wanted to go to emergency medicine, I would do, I would probably do like a one year residency and be able to switch into emergency medicine. But with MD, you're kind of stuck with, you do a residency for four years and then you go into that specialty. If you wanted to switch specialties, you'd have to go back for residency for four years and then go into that new specialty and it's a lot longer process and stuff like that. So um, that was one of the reasons I said and also I kind of am surrounded by doctors every day and um, my sister is also a doctor and I see how much time they don't get to spend with their loved ones and at home, not at home, but just away from the hospital. Um, and that kind of deterred my desire of becoming an MD or DO. Um, I kind of want to have a great, a good light work-life balance and with the PAs I work with they have an amazing work-life balance and I think that's super important. Um, so that was another reason, you know, that I said I want a good work-life balance and as a doctor I don't think you get that a lot of the time. And then another question was, in stressful situations, what do you like to do? How do you react? Um, so when I was asked this, I replied as if, you know, I like to exercise. I like to take a step back from what's stressing me out and reevaluate um, everything that's going on and then move forward and tackle, tackle the stressful situation at hand. I also told them during stressful situations, I'll, like I said, take a step back. I'll, um, spend time with family, I'll exercise, I'll, I'll do stuff like this, you know, like I enjoy doing this type of stuff. So kind of it for that question. Another question was, you know, how have, how have you been prepared to go through the curriculum of, you know, as a PA student because it's very rigorous and difficult to accomplish. And this part, you know, not a lot of people can, not a lot of people will be in this position, but just to let you guys know what I said, I talked about how I was a student athlete and you know how I was going from class to study hall to practice to weights um, and I maintained an, a, a stellar GPA throughout my college career and that I think speaks volumes um, and also I talked about my ACL injuries that I went through and the hardships that I faced with that and how I adjusted and rebounded from those injuries that I experienced and was you know super important in my story and my the reason you know and my strength of, of application you know you want to talk about your strengths and um, 
that, you know, being a student athlete and having gone through injuries was definitely a strength of mine with my application process. So a lot of PA schools, they like to ask situation questions, which I think are, can be very difficult, especially because, you know, you're applying to PA school to learn more about the medical profession and obviously you don't know, you might not know the answers to the questions they're asking, but they, the point of the question is they want to see how you re would react as a human being and not necessarily a medical provider. So for example, my question was a patient presents um, with a patient presents super anemic and is in need of an, a blood, uh, is in need of a blood transfusion immediately. Um, the patient is refusing treatment and wanting a second opinion. Um, how would you handle this situation and what would you do? So in the moment, I know it's really hard to, you know, kind of answer these questions, but I kind of talked about how I would, you know, inform them that, you know, it's very important that they receive this blood transfusion and the risks that, you know, anemia can cause and um, also the risks of leaving, you know, against medical advice, um, including death and all that, um, making sure that they're aware that you know, if they leave here without receiving this blood transfusion that they really need, that they could possibly die. And that's super important for the patient to know. And I also talked about how I would probably consult my attending doctor that I was working with and see what they thought, anything that I could do. Um, probably try and dig, dig deeper into um, the reason why they want a second opinion. Maybe something else is involved that they just don't want to share. and. Maybe it takes a little talking to them and, you know, being personable with them to kind of get out of them. So that's something along the lines that I said. And um, it seemed like the people who interviewed me um, were super happy with my answer and were impressed actually. So that was a good feeling. Um, oh, also, why Adventist? That was one of the first questions. Why ADU? You know, why do you want to go to this school, this specific school? And I'm pretty sure every school is going to ask you that. Um, my answer to this question, I said, you know, I've met amazing people through this program. Um, the the clinical rotations that the second years are going on, I've met and they're going through the emergency department at where I work and I've talked to them and they're great people. And, you know, you can tell that the program that they're in has shaped them and molded them into the people that they are which are very genuine people. And um, just hearing nothing but great things about the program, as well as it being close to home. Um, you know, being away as a student athlete, it was really hard um, to not have my parents right around the corner. And obviously it was great because it helped me grow up and all that. But going through PA school, as I'm older now, it'll be a great help to have my parents near um, if I ever need anything. and. Um, that's kind of what I said. So, um, nothing too crazy, nothing unexpected, and um, I was super happy with my interview and the things that I, um, the things that I went through. So, um, if you have any questions, um, I think I was pretty thorough with how I answered questions. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, comment below and let me know. But reach out to me, ask me anything you guys need, um, and yeah, so that's about it for my PA video, um, interview video, so I'll be back, um, uh, I'm gonna do some brainstorming for my next video, and hopefully it'll be soon, because all I'm doing right now is working and getting ready for PA school, and, um, just kind of hanging out, so, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, let me know, but, um, Thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and pass on the word to other, you know, PA people that are going through this process and let them know that, you know, I'm here to help. And, but yeah, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me, share the word, spread the word. Um, I'm really looking to um, get this channel on the road and kind of grow. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace. Oh, shit.